Have you ever wondered what is controlling our most important bodily functions? The nervous system. It controls your emotions, thoughts, and movements. It is more complex than you can ever imagine. Our nervous system is divided into two main networks that work together, the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system includes the brain and the spinal cord, whereas the peripheral nervous system consists of all the nerves that connect the central nervous system to the rest of the body. Our spinal cord is just like the trunk of a tree. Our nerves branch out of the spinal cord like the branches of a tree. So a nerve is a group of fibers that send signals to and from the central nervous system. Yes, and there are two types of nerves. Cranial nerves and spinal nerves. Cranial nerves emerge directly from the brain and spinal nerves emerge from the spinal cord. The peripheral nervous system contains 12 pairs of cranial nerves and 31 pairs of spinal nerves. Some of these pairs only consist of sensory nerves and some consist of both motor nerves and sensory nerves. Sensory nerves carry messages to the central nervous system from our organs. Yes, whereas motor nerves carry messages from the central nervous system to the internal organs, muscles and glands. Okay, thanks for telling me about the peripheral nervous system and types of nerves, Mrs. Coco. I have to go now. Watch your step, Spikey. Nice, Spikey. Your brain just balanced your movement and saved you from falling. How? I balanced myself with my feet. My feet are very far away from my brain. So how is this possible? I told you already, Spikey. Your nervous system and your brain control your actions, thoughts and emotions. So? Things that I can control are controlled by my brain, like eating, walking, and running, etc. Yes, the somatic nervous system controls all your conscious activities. Hmm, okay. So does that mean that activities which are not in my control, like the beating of my heart, are not controlled by my brain? No, Spikey. Your brain also controls your unconscious activities. There is a different system within your nervous system that controls these activities. The autonomic nervous system. What is that? And what is the somatic nervous system? The somatic nervous system and autonomic nervous system are parts of our peripheral nervous system. The somatic nervous system consists of the cranial and spinal nerves that connect the central nervous system to the skin and muscles. As I told you before, this system is involved in conscious activities such as thinking, walking and eating. The autonomic nervous system includes those fibers that connect the internal organs such as the heart, stomach, intestine and various glands. It is involved in unconscious activities such as the beating of your heart and breathing. Be careful next time, Spikey. Your somatic nervous system is not always going to prevent you from falling. Today we have learned that our nervous system has two parts, the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system consists of our brain and spinal cord. The peripheral nervous system consists of the nerves that connect the other parts of the body to the central nervous system. Sensory nerves send messages to the central nervous system and motor nerves carry messages from the central nervous system to other parts of the body.
The peripheral system is divided into two parts. The somatic nervous system, which deals with conscious activities, and the autonomic nervous system, which deals with unconscious activities.